we both know where that power is coming from. Look out! Money! Money! Trust Nathaniel. This is the only power that can help her. Ghosts in the woodshed and dark forces in the forest. The great Michael Scott was dead and trouble brewed around the Chosen One. A trouble that only the magic of the native world could protect her from. of Michael Scott was over, and so would be his servant's grieving. The shapeshifter seemed triumphant. He had a prophecy to fulfill, and a destiny that would not be denied. Dear me, still moping, McTaggart. What did the miserable old devil ever do for you, hmm? Did he give you his trust, his friendship? After 1,100 years of loyal service, did he even give you his thanks? What do you want from me? What should any master want from his slave? I'm not your slave. I'll never be your slave. Michael gave me my freedom. Oh, you are a slave, McTaggart. At least until the book is found. And until then, you shall serve me. I'd rather serve another 1,100 years imprisonment than serve you. Then you shall watch! Watch with the pink, helpless eyes of a sniffly weasel. Well, I, Juan Roberto Montoya de Toledo, fulfills his destiny, claims the book, and becomes the dawn, a queen. <laughs> well, maybe there's Bear Claw River or something. Not that I ever heard of. Maybe Bear Medicine. Bear Medicine? How would you know about that? It's nothing. Just something somebody said to me at the power. Maybe it means we've got to find a real bear. What good will that do? I doubt it, Bruno. Besides, I wouldn't recommend going looking for a bear. That's exactly why you guys better behave yourselves. And when do we do anything else? Well, this should keep you going for a while. Ah, uh, there's still life left in that old bike. Oh, your mom used to ride it all over the place. It's okay, Gramps. I know it used to be my mom's. And it makes me feel good, not sad. Make sure you guys get back before sundown. I don't want to have to send out any search parties. Sure, Mrs. Campbell, no problem. Okay, you ride safe out there. Yep. See ya. See you later. Come on, let's go finish those flapjacks. <laughs> Oh, 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 
Go down, man. Please. Go down. Oh, oh, oh. oh, take it easy. Take it easy. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Ourselves. We promise! We promise! <laughs> Marnie, wait! Marnie, come back! Uh, we're lost! Lost in the woods! Abandoned! Prey to wild beasts! Eaten alive! Help! Help! Oh. <gasps> your wing, Edwin. Where's your wing? Ah! My wing! My wing! I've lost my wing! Ah! Stop it! Or we will be eaten by wild beasts. Unhand me, you varlets! Then stop behaving like a hysterical child. Well, if you lost your wing eh, yourself, you... Grandfather? Well, Hunter, let's go get him out of trouble. Your pack. What? Edwin? Elsa? Come on, you guys? We gotta find them. Better get a moving, else you'll miss the fun. Scottish cousin. Yes, you tell it something. <laughs> tell it anything. <laughs> I had the situation under control. Oh, you did, did you? And who might you be? I am Sunwaki, spirit of the horse dance son of Wakangli, war horse of Chief Ink Paduta, pupil of the keeper of many secrets, loyal servant of Wakantanka. And the guy who just got you out of one heap of trouble for all the things I get. But you can call me Hunter. So <laughs> pleased to meet you, Hunter. It's so dismal in here. The great wizard didn't exactly have a flair for interior design, did he, Natasha? <laughs> no, that must have been the talent he invested in me. The talent I, in turn, shall invest in another. Your only talent <laughs> is for evil, loathsome shapeshifter. on life's strange highway. Indeed we are. Let me lead you into the magical, mystical world of the spirits, where with my help, you can be reunited with your dear departed ones. Above and beyond. <laughs> Above, beyond, and together, my dear, we will fulfill 
Berserk prophecy. <laughs> <sighs> I've got to get out of here. Hey, Hunter. How'd you know that we were in trouble? I didn't. He did. Grandpa? Wait, he's your grandpa? <gasps> you know him? We kind of met at the power. We've never been formally introduced. Well, Nathaniel Stonehorse, Marnie McBride. Pleasure to meet you properly, Marnie. Yeah, likewise. And may, uh, may I just say, on behalf of myself and my brave companions, Mr. Stone, how grateful we are for your intervention. And mine too, right? Just because you're looking for bear clue doesn't mean you need to find yourselves a real bear. Anyway, you guys should know better. Fooling around with bears in these woods, and who knows what else is on the loose. Sorry, Grandpa. Might find straight across the flats. It's the quickest way home. <laughs> Toledo's power was slowly fermenting, and the foul brew of his magic would soon find a vessel in which it would be poured. Until the next time, <laughs> when Aurora Dexter takes you <laughs> above and beyond. Cat, that's a wrap. The ethereal divide. <laughs> Where'd you get this stuff from, Aurora? <laughs> Yes, this is Aurora Dexter. Who is this? Hi, Robert Johns, Vice President of Production Channel 4 them. You can call me Johnny. Just passing through the Mile High City, having to catch daytime TV. And what did I see? Your show, Aurora. You saw my show? I can call you Aurora. Can't I? Yes, of course. What can I do for you, Mr... I mean, <laughs> Johnny? Well, the question is not what you can do for me, but what I can do for you. Now, you have a terrific little show, and I just cannot leave this town without meeting you. Are you free this evening? This evening? Aurora, I'm leaving town tomorrow. Destiny doesn't deliver a chance like this twice. If it's destiny, uh, why should I stand in its way? So, dinner at my place. I'll send the car. It'll be so wonderful to meet you. <laughs> the shapeshifter's plan was in motion, and only the power of nature, Nathaniel's power, could withstand him now. A magic new to Marnie and wondrous, but already half known to Kyle and deeply daunting. So, is he? I mean, like, he's at the airport, he's in the middle of the woods when I, when I walk into a teepee at the powwow. Is he, you know? Is he one of those wishy-washy things? I was Shasha Wakan, a medicine man. Yeah, sure, let's just tell everybody, why don't we? But how come you couldn't tell me? Even about Hunter, Kyle? I don't talk about... I mean, we're not supposed to talk about this stuff. He reminds me of somebody, your grandpa. Who? Michael Scott. Yeah. Maybe. Mm, it doesn't sound like a bundle of laughs, you great wizard. Laughs? <laughs> laughs and the great Michael Scott don't come in the same sentence. In the same paragraph. In the same universe. <laughs> 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 So weird. 
church ever being here before. The Book of Forbidden Knowledge. It's a book, all right, but I don't know. I think the Book of Forbidden Knowledge is going to be a little more difficult to find. Of course it's not the book. And Marnie would know, wouldn't she? Yeah, but that was just a copy. A perfect copy. Believe us, we should know. Yeah, seeing how you stole it. Mm. <laughs> what kind of book is it? It's a parish register. Births, marriages, and... Deaths. Bride to the daughter of Chief Stonebear of the Lakota people. And look, there's the chief's mark. It's a bear claw. Maybe these are the people in your dream. Thank you. Can you wait for a... Okay. Put yourself together, little lady. You want your own show or not? says with my eyes shut, Johnny. A contract's a contract, Aurora. Don't you trust your new boss at Channel 411? Sure. <clears throat> I trust you, Johnny. Of course I do. We sponsor your new show. You talk to the dearly departed, become an A-list celebrity nationwide, and we all make lots of money. That's, of course, after your fair hand has opened up the book of Forbidden Knowledge. What book? Just part of your new show. And don't you worry your pretty little head. I'll take care of the details. You know, they say the devil's in the details. The devil. <laughs> the devil. Oh, of course, you're so right. That's why I drew it up myself. No slippery lawyers. No business affairs. Just me. Now you want this show more than anything, don't you? Oh, yes. I want it more than anything. You want this show to reach into every corner of every home, coast to coast, don't you? Across the length and breadth of the country, of the world, now of the universe. I want it, Johnny. I want it all. Then sign, Aurora. 
together we will find the book and fulfill our destiny and become the Dawn Queen. My body, my new life. Johnny, you're scaring me. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> and when the clock does chime again, and hours and minutes pass, the cogs will turn relentlessly behind the cloudy clouds until the dawn queen's faithless hand shall open up the book. Then death and darkness shall descend on all who dare to look. From my watery grave you have summoned and together, we will fulfill our destiny. No more trailer trash or... Or a Dexter. From now on, it's prime time. My own show on Channel 411, Nationwide. <laughs> so, you guys enjoyed yourselves today, huh? Hey, we sure did. <laughs> yeah. We found this weird old place, like a church or something, right there in the middle of the woods. A church? Where? Across the flats, just west of the old quarry. Well, you must be tired, Marnie, if you made it to the other side of the flats. Yeah, we were way off track. There's no church anywhere near there. You kids must have gotten lost. Next time on Shoebox Zoo. I know what you did. You're not who you say you are. Marnie is in great danger. That means we're all in great danger. It's hard. The women from the TV. Ah!